Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm showing you two ways to create your very own fabric face mask. The first pattern is quite easy. It starts with one rectangle measuring 9.5 inches by 7.5 inches and two smaller ones for the lining measuring 7 by 5 inches each. Start with the two lining pieces and make a seam on one of the long sides. Then place the lining pieces on top of the main fabric, right sides together. And sew. After sewing the pieces together, fold the lining towards the back of the main fabric. You can use an iron to press down the seams. Then sew again. Then it's time to make the pleats. I like starting with the top pleat first, continue with the bottom one and then make the middle pleat. Next, you need to sew the sides, taking the edge of the lining as a guide. Fold and sew the sides just like I'm showing you in the video the last step is to attach the elastic when I started making this type of masks I've done the over the ear loops which were fine for a while but if you wear them for more than a few minutes could get really uncomfortable this is why I prefer adding a long strip of elastic which could uh, go over the head and you could just adjust it. If you want it tighter on top or tighter on the bottom, you can just pull the elastic to make it more comfortable. You can either sew the sides of the mask first and pass the elastic through them using a safety pin or you can place the elastic in position, wrap the sides over it and sew carefully like I'm doing in the video. But that's um, the lazy way to do it. And the elastic needs to go through both sides. After measuring the length of the elastic, just cut it and tie a knot. And that's it, this is how the mask looks like in the end. The lining creates the pocket for the filter. And uh, the elastic goes over the head. For the child size, you need one rectangle measuring 9 by 5 inches. And uh, two smaller rectangles for the lining measuring 7 by 4 inches. 
Other than the measurements, everything else is the same as for the adult mask. I have uh, another tutorial for this sort of mask as for the next one, which I will link in the description below. I made this video as I decided to revisit the two patterns and show you how to improve them as a result of uh, my experience uh, wearing them. The second pattern is this sort of fitted mask. I'll add a link to the pattern in the description below. I used uh, to print my pattern but I had to uh, transfer the plastic graph as I kept losing the pa paper pattern. So the first thing you need to do is to cut two pieces from the main fabric and two from the lining fabric. Then uh, you need to sew the rounded parts of the template. After sewing, cut a few notches so that the fabric will not gather when turning inside out and assembling everything. Do the same thing for uh, the lining on the main fabric. Fold the sides twice and sew. When uh, making the second fold, you need to make sure your elastic will fit inside. Place the two parts right sides together. Then uh, sew the top and bottom leaving a gap for the elastic to go through. Turn the mask inside out. You can use an iron to press down the seams and uh, also you can make an extra seam on the top and bottom. So this is how the mask looks like, you can use it on either side, make it reversible. The next step is uh, to pass the elastic through the sides and that's about it. This is the finished mask. The elastic will go over the head like for the first one and uh, you can also insert a filter inside. For the child's mask, follow the same directions as for the adult one. I will just show you how to make it more fun. This time, instead of sewing the two parts right sides together, sew them with the wrong sides inside. And it will look uh, something like this. Then you just cut a few notches around the seam. For the next step, you will need a bit of colorful bias tape, which you can buy it from uh, the local fabric shop or you can make it yourself by uh, cutting the fabric uh, on diagonal. And uh, add the bias tape on top of the stitches.
Now all that's left is to add a colorful elastic and you're done. I hope uh, this video was useful for you. If you liked it, uh, please consider subscribing and enabling the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting!